Hey home bakers, it's Jack here at bakewithjack.co.uk and last week's video I made a mistake and no, I'm not talking about when I said oregano instead of oregano. Roll that fiend tune. Hello to you all and welcome back to the Bake With Jack YouTube channel where I make videos to help you make amazing bread at home. In last week's video I made a small mistake and when I edited it I initially left it in as something we could all learn from and then I started thinking about all those people who leave comments like you talk too much or your accent is too annoying or tattoos are so not cool and they last forever by the way so maybe you should have a little think about that before you decide to get another one. I made the decision to cut that mistake out of the video to appease those few people and so as not to waste a further 90 seconds of their lives. And then I thought to myself, what am I even doing? So I've certainly learned something through this experience and here in this little short video is a teeny tiny nugget that I think you might learn something from too. Cut to last week. Thank you for this amount of dough. And now I'm gonna take my dough scraper and give it a nice mix up like this. Now pay close attention to this because there's something going on that I did semi on purpose that we can all learn a big massive lesson from. I'm mixing the dough up like this with my dough scraper. I'm mixing it, cutting into it. That's the large bake with Jack dough scraper by the way. Uh, in a minute I'm going to give it a little squeeze. There it is. Mix it up, keep mixing. Because something's crossing my mind now. Squeeze it again, just double check and yes, confirmed. The dough feels way firmer than I initially thought it would do much firmer than normal. And I'm beginning to wonder here whether there's enough water inside the recipe. I don't think that there is. So we're gonna double check. I'm gonna weigh an empty bowl, put the scales on zero, move my bowl across to the scales and see what the total is. And yes, it's 75 grams short to what it should be. So here's what I'm gonna do next. I'll take my water. I'm gonna to top it up just a little touch like this, which is gonna make it tricky for me to get that water inside now. So I'm gonna take my scraper again give it a good old mix together and really give it some welly to cut all that moisture inside the dough. We're not gonna need this dough, so I just want to make it one cohesive mass with no lumpy bits and no especially wet bits and no areas of dry flour. So however you do that, however you choose to get there is up to you. Here I'm using the scraper and then because I've added that extra moisture, I'm gonna go in my hands and give it a squeeze up just to break down those chunks. And even then, after that, I'll get out on the table for a bit, just for a couple of seconds, just to make sure I've moved all those lumps around and everything is one cohesive mass. What an important lesson for us all. You're welcome. Now I'm gonna take my dough scraper and scrape everything back up. And there you have it. It's not much, I know, but I thought that it might be handy. As always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your ever so kind comments and always remember, some mistakes in life, unlike this one, are irreversible and will stay with you for the rest of your lives. Don't get tattoos, kids. <laughs> or do, I don't care. Bye-bye. Thank you.